everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Shannon. Today I wanted to share with you some spring outfit inspiration. I tend to get really excited during these transitional seasons because it's just a nice little refresh. Right now I have my windows open and the snow is melting on the deck and it got me excited. So I thought I'd pull some spring inspired looks and share them with you guys. I also really want to thank today's sponsor, Lily Silk. I will be styling some incredible pieces from their new spring collection. As always, everything that I'm styling today, I will have linked for you in the description of this video. One thing that I really love about Lily Silk is they take their scrap pieces of silk or material and they make other little accessories like scrunchies. I have really curly hair, so I love using silk scrunchies just to prevent breakage. And these are my favorite. They also make silk pillowcases, which I currently have on my bed. I have been sleeping on Lily Silk pillowcases for years, so I'm really excited to be partnering with them. Without further ado, let's dial up some pieces. To start off here, I'm going to be styling this matching set. This is 100% woven spun silk that is also machine washable, which I know is important for my fellow moms out there. I love this sort of nautical vibe of stripes, especially when you include navy. This set has navy and black stripes, so I decided to pair it with this really beautiful blazer from Lily Silk. The main thing that really stood out to me when I put this set on is just the way this fabric feels. It's so incredibly soft. It's really perfect for a transitional month like spring because it is that interwoven knit sort of feel but still be breathable, lightweight, stretchy, and so comfortable. And for accessories, I decided to go with a cream structured bag and then the blackest pair of sunglasses that I own. Now I wanted to talk about this blazer. So I really love the cut of it, especially in the back. It's almost tapered in at the waist, which gives this really flattering feminine vibe. And I think it is so beautiful. It almost looks like it was tailored to fit me. I really like how blazers look when you wear them off the shoulder, but it looks really nice when you wear it fully on as well. Okay, this next piece I am so excited about. It is probably my favorite piece in this entire haul because of how versatile it is. One of the biggest staples in my personal style are these really long flowy maxi skirts. I just love them. They go with so many different things. So I'm going to get into a few different ways. I'll be styling this skirt for the transitional season. Starting off with a sort of monochromatic look. I have this really cute little cropped sweater with balloon sleeves and I just paired it with some cream boots. And then here it is again, another monochromatic look with a different sweater. This skirt is made from one of Lily Silk's signature fabrics. It's 100% silk. It's really lustrous and pearlescent. And I love the juxtaposition of a knit, thicker, chunky sweater with something soft and silky like this skirt. I also love anything off the shoulder, especially during a transitional season. I think it just makes perfect sense. Okay, so switching it up from the monochromatic for this next look, I brought out the blazer again and I paired it with a neutral bodysuit and some tan accessories. And I swapped out the boots for my favorite pair of simple pumps. I really love this navy blue paired with tan. I think it's such a classic look. The amount of fabric in this skirt and the fullness when it moves is so beautiful to me. I'm obsessed. Sharing another way that I styled it recently when I went out with my husband. I love how versatile this skirt is. And here I'm styling it in a much more casual way with some flats and a navy sweater. This is a really comfortable outfit that I would wear grocery shopping or just running errands. It's really practical and I love that you can just take off the sweater, throw it over your shoulders when it gets too warm, and put it back on if it gets too cold because spring can be a little bit unpredictable. Not only do I love how practical and comfortable this is, but I love that it's almost like you get two outfits in one. This is just one of the many ways I will be wearing the skirt all spring and summer long. Now let's get into another fabric that Lily Silk does so beautifully. This is their cashmere. This to me is the perfect representation of elevating your basics. It's the perfect type of sweater to wear just lounging around the house, but you could also dress it up and wear it out. I love wearing this with jeans or just comfy pants around the house, but here I'm styling it with some brown trousers and a thicker braided belt. I decided to create this sort of tonal look that's really warm and chocolatey with these brown maroon shades. In my opinion, this outfit would work really well in autumn and winter as well as spring, especially if it's still cold where you are. Their cashmere is so cozy and soft. It's really great as a base layer, but you can also just wear it by itself and it's a perfect staple to have all year round. I hope you guys found some good inspiration there and in some of those outfits that I put together. I thought I would leave you with a few tips that I like to keep in mind anytime I'm shopping. This goes for any season. So here are my main tips that I look out for. I like to look for quality fabrics. I always look at the fabric content. I'm okay with some synthetics here and there. Um, I understand that every fabric has its purpose. Ideally, I try to look for fabrics that are natural because in my experience, they last longer, they're more comfortable, they look really nice, they just feel better. They're more comfortable, they're more breathable, they're warmer, and overall, the longevity is better. Another thing I always make sure to do is to look at the care instructions as well, and I try my very best to take care of them properly. 
So if there's a garment that says hand wash only, I really try to be very careful. At this point in my life, I feel like a lot of my clothing, I don't even put in the dryer anymore. So to look at the care instructions before you buy anything and make sure that you are equipped, you know, washing in cold water, hand washing, hanging to dry, those sorts of things. So just make sure that you read that. It'd be devastating to purchase something that you love that's really beautiful quality and then accidentally ruin it, having it shrink. So make sure you read the care instructions. This next one is huge for me and I touched on it in the video when I was styling pieces, but I look for versatility. Before I purchase something, I ask myself, how many different ways can I style this? Does this item go with things I already own? Will this piece work in multiple different seasons? So I try to envision at least three or four different ways that I could style that piece with things that I already own. It's also a good time to go in your own closet and shop around and see what you already have to make sure that purchasing this item makes sense with the rest of my closet. Will I actually wear this or is it something that's just trendy and it doesn't really go with anything else? And I'm not saying to never buy something that's unique or like a really fun statement piece, but I'm saying if you're trying to really build a collection that is timeless and classic and something that you can wear year after year, season after season, I recommend making sure it's something that's versatile and something that truly feels like you. My very last shopping tip that I like to think about when I'm buying something, especially something that's a higher ticket item, is is this something I can see myself wearing five years from now, 10 years from now? Can I see myself wearing this item years and years and years down the line? So, you know, picturing myself as a, let's say, 50 year old woman, would I still wear that garment or would I still wear that piece of jewelry? I also think it's wise to um, kind of calculate cost per wear. All of these tips kind of boil down to the longevity of an item. I try my best to shop with an eye of longevity and versatility and cost per wear. It's just about putting that extra couple minutes of thought into something before hitting purchase so that you know that item will have a long lifespan in your wardrobe be for years to come. So thank you guys so much for watching and thank you Lily Silk for sponsoring this video. I hope you all have a beautiful day and I will see you in the next one.